Hello guys, this is Master Ninja 95117. I'm making this video to how to mod Mass Effect 2 uh, for your Xbox 360 with a USB. I know it's been lately a lot of people have been having problems how to. Um, I know a lot of people rehash and resigned it and they're having problems when they put it back in their USB drives and for some reason it's uh, their characters aren't modded. So I'm gonna tell you what you need to do, but first before we get started, um, you have to have a Mario, the latest issue download of Mario, you can download that for free. I'll put the link in where already download that and give it Mass Effect 2 saver. I will put the um, this you need to to download to change your customizer stats. I will also put a link in the description to where to download this. Alright, let's get started. First for Mario, you can sign up for an account. Um, you don't have to, but it, it just makes it easier when you sign up for an account, so I made an account, so I'm going to log in. And... Uh, seconds? Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, um, explore device. File, open, close, drive. So you'll see, like, content, game save, profiles, for it. you'll see Xbox 360 USB stick. This can be to used with any USB drive, it doesn't have to be just the 360 one that they sell, so any USB drive you have is good. Go down and you see a bunch of E00 DF. You're gonna see a bunch of this. Click that again. Mass Effect 2. Click that again. Game saves. And it's gonna see, you'll see uh, one of the characters. You'll see this one. Larry 12 adapts. So characters 12. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract it. And to make it easier, I would just extract it to the desktop because it just it helps a lot better. Okay, so you're gonna extract it to the desktop. After that, you're going to go to, um, so after you extract it, exit out of this. Okay, so, and then you'll see right here on the desktop, it says, a character right there, 12, okay. So then you're going to go to Modio. So, do that. so you're going to open the save. Alright, there he is, Larry, open. And you'll see you'll get this little pop-up saying Mass Effect 2, General Info, and all that stuff. Okay, so then you're gonna go to File Contents, and then you're gonna go to Save 2. Um, it can work with any save, pretty much. Um, I wouldn't really go with Auto Save. I would just go with the save that you save by yourself because this makes it a lot easier. Okay, and then you're gonna Extract File. And you're gonna, so it'll save Save 2. So it'll pretty much be any save number, and um, let's do the desktop, make it easier. Okay, so I extract it, exit out of that. Then you're gonna go to Mass Effect 2, save editor, give it, and then you're gonna do it to click on this open little folder, and it'll pop up. Um, see this line right here, but ignore that. You're gonna go to desktop, and it will say where your save is. You're gonna click on the save right here, and click open. And then you'll get a little pop up like this. It'll say the character's name, the level, what class you are, talent points, paragon points, all the good stuff. So, um, for example, so if you want limit credits, um, so you can get like unlimited uh, credits, um, and then you don't have to worry about mining ever again. I know sometimes mining is a pain in the ass, um, but if you play Mass Effect One um, and uh, you played Mass Effect Two, um, I know some from Mass Effect One you can mine the planets and you get more. You get more mining materials in the second one for like lithium and then iridium and all that stuff. So if you want, so for first we're gonna do limit credits, uh, for example, just go to all the way to 999. A limit, palladium, same example. So I'm just doing, I'm just changing all the 999. Probes, um, I really don't really see much about probes because you only want need it because you don't have any limited credits and limited money. But you know, for example, we'll just go to 60 if you want. Metagel, go to 999 because I don't have to pay in the butt when you character down. Actually, Metagel, you can go over the else, but I'll just go with the Hunter Metagel. Over here, you can change your level class. For example, I'm going to go with level 60. For example, you know what? I'm gonna make it level 100. 
and you can change it how many levels that you want in the game. Um, I really, so uh, I'll just leave it level, you know, I'll do level 60 just to make it easier. Uh, you could do a level 100. Um, and then talent points, I would change this because, you know, you want a lot of uh, talent points to put towards your specific shepherd in the class. So I'm going to do, I think I'll do 50. Paragon points. You can have, you can set this all as long as you like. Go with a thousand, 99 points. And I'll keep it at 18. Alright, so that's that's one way. And then, um, powers and appearance. I don't know what this is, I haven't done yet. Henchman, don't do it. Plot, here we go. Henchman. So, player, you could change the difficulty, you play Mass Effect 1. Cosmic Surgeon Unlocked, you could do that different stuff. Henchman, um, basically, you could do flat. So basically, um, if you've seen another YouTube profile, YouTube videos, you can um, get Tally or um, Thane or Samara before you do the missions. Um, but I recommend doing this after you meet the Lucid Man, because if you do this before the Lucid Man, it's just going to mess up the game or your, your save file. So you can make them like here, you can make them loyal, you can make them in your squad, um, alternate appearance, um, you can make them dead if you want, but for just a little bit of example, uh, spoiler, so if you, if you, um, if you basically want to get the character on your Normandy at first, you won't be able to do your, um, you won't be able to do their, their mission to do it. I believe you can still do their loyalty mission if you don't click the loyal, but, um, you won't be able to do their mission, for example, if you want to get Tally right away to have her for to go to Horizon stuff, you won't be able to pick her up a haste form because you'll already have her in your squad. But um, I'm not too sure if you could do this. Um, if you you can make her loyal, but if you make her loyal, you won't be able to do her loyalty mission. So uh, basically do your own risk um, what you want to do with it because it's your game. Mass Effect 1, I already played it, so um, basically you can change the output on it. So if you played Mass Effect 1, you have a creator for Mass Effect 1. I mean, you're on save file, you can uh, go back here and decide what you want to do with it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what you could do with it. Um, values, um, you can change the values too if you romance with Ashley. Um, Paragon points, you know, that good stuff. Uh, gears push towards C-set progress, gears push towards pair expected progress from Paragon Run Game. Okay, and then Toolbox, um, you can do a hand more. Um, that's up to you though, but I recommend backup scene, so basically it'll make your shepherd's head really thin. Raw over here just tells you what you could do, you could change like different hairstyles, I'm not gonna go too much into it because I don't know too much about this, I don't wanna mess it up, so after you're done with the player, after you did what you want to do with it and everything else, you go to save, and then you go back to the desktop. Favorites. Go back to the desktop. You click on save. Click save. You can ask if you want to replace it. Yes, you do want to replace that. Okay, so I've replaced it, and then you're gonna exit it. Okay. Once you're done with that. Um, Basically, you're gonna go to back over here. Or, no, back. So you're gonna back to go to Mario and go to open save. Uh, click on your shepherd. Find it again. So click on your shepherd. Open it again. File contents. Save. You're gonna earn set. Uh, basically, you're gonna um, insert the file again, but you're gonna go to replace file. You're gonna go to back to the save. So save to open. Go back to general info, rehash, and resign. So it's been rehashed and resigned, and you're gonna exit out of there. Okay, so and then after you do that, I know this is where people have the problem. Where to basically how to get they put it right back in their USB drive and then they go back to their Xbox and they put you don't want to do that. This is where this, that's where it messes you up. So basically, you're gonna go back to Explore Device and go to File, Open, Close Drive again. Go back until you see your Mass Effect 2 save file. 
and this is what we're, we're going to do. So you're basically going to go to Dr. Nerf, you're going to go to Insert File, and you're going to go back to the desktop to get the letter. So basically this won't be this, the file that you took, that the, the first method that we did because you already rehashed your site. And it's already got the modified save. You're going to open it, and it says, do you want to wish to overwrite it? Yes, you want to overwrite that. And it overrides it. And basically, see, date modified, it's been modified. And then you're ready to go. And then just click out of the audio. And you have this. And you're basically all done. And then close the program because audio is not working. Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do it. And then, um,. If there's any questions, and so basically that's it. And then you take your USB drive, put it back into your hard drive, and put it back into your Xbox, and then uh, take the file, put it back into your hard drive, load up Mass Effect 2, and then load up that Pacific Shepherd and that save file, and you will have a modified Shepherd. Alright guys, if there's any questions or anything that you guys uh, need help with, any regards, feel free to comment um, down below, or feel free to, to message me and I will get try to get back to you guys as soon as I can and help you guys as map as ma out as I can. Alright guys, this is Master Ninja signing off.